This video presents the enhancements to the doors and windows. First, let's see the changes in the Settings dialog. Select the placed doors on the floor plan and open their settings. Switch to the Marker Settings panel. The ID text orientation can now be found on the Marker Content 1 ID SIL page. The standard orientation was renamed to Perpendicular to Marker Axis. The dimension settings now have a new dedicated page. The dimension style can also be set now to a single line next to the existing double line. If we choose the single line, the width and height values will follow each other in one row, and the prefix and separator fields become editable. Let's enter, for example, DIM for prefix and forward slash for separator. There is also a new orientation option similar to the ID. Here you can choose perpendicular or align with marker axis. With this, dimension text can now be placed perpendicularly to the leader line. See the result on the floor plan. Let's return to the settings. Fire rating and acoustic rating text can now be placed perpendicularly to the leader line as well, similarly to the dimensions we mentioned previously. The U value can be found on a separate page with an orientation option. The new location parameter is also on this page. If we check the Show Location checkbox, you can choose the measured value or the custom text options, and you can also add a prefix. Let's see an example of this. Enter LOC for the prefix and choose the measured value. We can set the location on the description page of the window or door settings panel. We can select the connecting parent zone name or number here, or we can set its custom text as well. Now let's select the location as room name and check the results on the floor plan. Let's open the settings of the doors again. Select the door stamp on the dimension marker panel. With the door stamp, we can now display the sill height and the location parameters are also available as well. By using these new settings, we can adjust the dimension markers of the doors and windows more precisely and more consistently. Finally, let's see a corner window feature. Let's place a corner window and open its settings. First, choose Fixed Glass for the main sash in the Window Settings and Openings page on the Window Settings panel and then go to the Custom Corner page. The Corner Connection Type now has a new glass option for glass-to-glass -glass corner connections. If the opening types in both satches are set to fixed glass, it is possible to choose this new value for the corner connection type. If this option is selected in two windows that are connected at a corner, there will be no frame between the connected glass. This option displays properly on the floor plan and in 3D as well.